Okay, um, getting a lot of calls here. I gotta apologize in advance. I really should turn my phone to do not disturb. This is the Flipping and Wholesaling in New York, Flipping and Wholesaling Houses in New York show. I'm Michael Pinter, where I teach you how to start flipping and wholesaling houses, or if you're already doing it, how to uh, grow your business. Today's topic by request is skip tracing, right? So let's talk about what is skip tracing, and then we'll get into some more details. Um, skip tracing is when you take a list and you have a name and an address, uh, sometimes just an address, you can get phone numbers for them. There's a lot of skip trace providers out there, okay? So the main ones, and I use TLO, they're very expensive. You can't get approved with them unless they come and do an on-site. Uh, an on-site. I mean, TLO is crazy. I can get somebody's uh, social security number in five minutes from it, but it's very hard to get on with them. But they're not really inexpensive if you're doing bulks. Another big provider is IDI. They provide great data. Um, and a lot of people who resell data out there, so like batch skip tracing, they just, I think they resell IDI. They, they say they do more to it, but it's IDI data. Um, uh, I use a different provider who told me not to mention them, so I'm not talking about them. But let's talk about what to expect when you skip trace. First of all, cost. Most good data costs uh, between 10 and 15 cents a hit. Now some, uh, oh, there's another good one called REI Skip. There's a lot of really good, there's a lot of good companies out there. But um, there's bad data, there's good data. So I would say you should be paying, you know, between uh, 10 and 15 cents for good data. You should only pay for hits. You should not pay for searches. Um, and what to expect when you get, oh, so for, again, I keep jumping around, I apologize. When I started, I did, I used data zap. That's cheap, it's four cents. It's not good data. I would not uh, use it. And I would never use some unknown guy on Fiverr or Upwork who says he's gonna skip trace for you for like five cents a uh, 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 an entry because it's almost always reselled data zap data zap with two p's don't use them i did they're not great um so um what can you expect so here's the thing um the provider i use uh the provider I, the provider i use is unique in that they give you an optimized call window where they give you a two-hour window each day of the week all seven days when that number is more likely to be used that's one of the reasons why i like them i have my callers only call during that period of time um i don't text during that period of time but i can um, so I'm a big believer in good data, but you got to understand you're going to get multiple numbers for each name. So there's going to be a lot of wrong numbers. People always complain, oh, there's all these wrong numbers. Listen, if I run a, a 25,000 name list and I get, um, 60,000, 60,000 numbers, uh, there's got to be two thirds of them are going to be wrong, right? It's just the way it is. So you have to understand there's going to be a lot of wrong numbers. It's just the way you have to uh, accept and a lot of wrong numbers. If all the right numbers are there, then I'm fine. That's all you can hope for. It's a big numbers game. You can't, you should never skip trace tiny little lists because, you know, you, you'll find that you won't be able to get numbers. You have to work with bigger data. I speak to people all the time. They tell me, oh, I have a list. It's 400 names. It's, that's not a list you can work with in this business. You need lists in the thousands. You need, uh, I, I recommend everybody start with around 10,000, 8,000, 9,000 are okay. Um, but then you skip trace that and you're going to get 20,000, you know, on an, even on an 8,000 name list, you're going to get 20,000 numbers. Two thirds of them are not right, right? They're wrong, right? They're, they're old numbers. They're people who used to live at that address, their relatives. So you have to understand there's a lot of bad data in there. If the good data is there, then that's all you can hope for. And there is a luck factor here when you're going to reach the person, even when you're using optimized call window, it doesn't mean that they're going to answer your call or talk to you. You have to think in terms of long term. I'm going to call this list over a long term. You can't get discouraged if you call a third of the list and you didn't get a lot of uh, answers. There's always going to be tons of wrong numbers, tons of wrong numbers. I get tons of wrong numbers. Do not think that means the data is bad. If the good names are in there, you got to work it. A list of 10,000 should should uh, last you between four and six months. So two or three of those a year is going to be what you need. Work through the list in that time. You got to uh, make the time to get it done. But skip tracing is an absolute necessary part of the business. It's something that wasn't around you know, 20 years ago. It's an amazing part of our business that we can take a list of addresses that we get and get phone numbers for them. And you know, I'm constantly bombarded where we text and call people, how'd you get my number, how'd you get my number, how'd you get my number, how'd you know this one, my cell phone? Happens all the time, skip tracing is amazing, um, but you have to understand that on every single list that you skip trace, there's gonna be tons of wrong numbers. It's just the way it is. Um, you cannot avoid that, you can't be discouraged by it. Um, a majority are going to be wrong numbers. That's just the fact. Uh, if you're getting three numbers for each entry, they, most people do not have three phone numbers, right? If their cell phone's in there or, or their landline's in there 
then you got to be happy you got the right data and you can't be upset about the wrong number. So skip tracing is part of a marketing plan. Um, I don't know how uh, anybody in this business would do business without skip tracing. It's necessary. Don't get crappy skip trace data. Oh, also, uh, please like this video if you like it. Please subscribe on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. Go to howtoflipnewyork.com to find out all the ways I can help you. And uh, just to recap again, skip tracing is awesome. Don't pay for crappy skip tracing. If the data is not good, it's not worth it. Better data, even incrementally better data is worth paying a little more for if it's going to last you a year or six months. I cannot believe the, I cannot believe the light went out. I really thought I solved the lighting problem. Wow. Something's going on with this. Every time this light goes out. Um, so please, uh, if you have any questions, uh, any requests, this one's by request. If you have any other requests, please let me know. And I will be happy to, I think I know the issue. Let me see if I can fix this. I had this thing plugged in. Let me see if the light goes on now. Yeah, all right, my fault. I got to figure this out. But um, if you have any questions or requests, please uh, put it in the comments below. I'll be, I'll get to them. If you And don't be afraid that it's too basic. Anything is fine. And don't be afraid also that I might have uh, dealt with that topic before. I'm going to change my color. A little too washed out. That's better. Um, because if I did, I'm just going to send... I'm just going to send... Um, you the link to the video that I did if it answers the question you have. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Put the comments below. Comments get answered very, very quickly.